Gary, a disappointing end to the match there. Can you sum up your thoughts on the match? Yeah, really disappointing for the players. I thought they were excellent. Uh, we came up with a team of real quality that asked us a lot of questions in different ways and I thought we answered most of them really, really well. Obviously disappointed to go lose a goal in the 90th minute or whatever it was, but uh, no, the lads were excellent. You know, Obviously we've never seen them since Saturday. Um, you're trying to get a lot of information across to them via WhatsApp and the video group that we've got and then speaking to them again tonight. And we tried to be really brave with New Rangers with both for the back. We tried to go man for man and um, we've done it really, really well. But even their first goal, just the quality, you know, the goalkeeper was the only spare player on the pitch. He had the ball, he zinged a 40-yard pass right into the striker's feet. And then Josh McPake does what Josh McPake can do, you know, he cuts inside with a wonderful finish. So that, that's how I set the team up to play, to try and play in the front foot to stop Rangers playing. But they've got that much quality that it sometimes, you know, they make it difficult for you to stop them. But I thought we gave as good as we got. I thought we had a lot of chances ourselves. I think we need to show a little bit more composure at times in front of goal. But in the main, I was really, really happy with how we played. Eden Lynch gets his first goal almost instantly after conceding. Does that show a sense of character around the squad? I think there is good character in the squad. You know, obviously results haven't been what we've wanted. But in terms of level of performance, I think even the League Cup games, we, we've played well in nearly every game. Now what we've got to do is turn those performances into results. And I said that to the players, you know, I don't think in the league we've got the points that we should have had. I think we're a couple behind what we should have had. And I think tonight we should have took that game to penalties. But sometimes that happens in football and you don't just get what you deserve and you've got to just keep working through it. I think our fitness levels are very good. I think the lads were, you know, we try and give them stuff to do and they try and carry it out to the best of their abilities. Uh, and I, honestly, I feel for them tonight because I thought we played really, really well against a really good team. And just finally, looking forward to East Fife on Saturday. How do you prepare the boys for that? Yeah, obviously we need to make sure they recover properly. You know, they've been out there doing their cool downs and getting food into them tonight. And they'll all report on tomorrow to see if we've got any niggles or that. Uh, we'll have a lighter training session on Thursday, uh, get our video work done and try and inform the players of that. And then it'll be a difficult game. You know, East Fife's done really, really well last season. They had a really good start in the League Cup, uh, a really good campaign in the League Cup. But unfortunately for them, they've not got the League campaign up and running yet as well as we would have liked. But uh, any time you go to, um, to Methyl, it's a difficult game. Uh, so we're expecting a difficult game. But listen, I've told the players in there not to be too down. Be disappointed that we've not got a result. Because I never ever want us to get beat and not be disappointed. But there's a lot of positives. And we never need to just think about them tonight, tomorrow. And uh, focus on trying to get a positive result on Saturday and getting ourselves further up the table. Thank you very much, Gary. Cheers. Cheers.